In this video, we are going to solve one more gate problem related to phase margin. So, we can observe this problem this given in gate 2002. A loop transfer function of a system is given by g of s into h of s is equivalent to 10 into e power l s by s. This is the loop transfer function they given. For this, the phase crossover frequency is also given, given as 5 radians per second. The value of dead time l is. So, this problem is not related to phase margin. So, this is related to phase crossover frequency, whatever it may be, what we need to find out. So, we need to find out value L. So, now here they given or uh, the given data I want to write. So, the given data is G of S into H of S is equal into 10 into E power minus L S by S. This is loop transfer function they given and now here what they given again is they given phase crossover frequency WP is equivalent to 5 radians per second. So, this is the data given. Now, how we can find the value of L if they given to find phase crossover frequency then we can find if they given to find phase margin or gain margin or uh, uh, gain crossover frequency we can find. How we can find this L? By this data we can find that L. So, here first of all they given phase crossover frequency is 5 radians per second. For any problem in frequency response analysis I will suggest you whenever you given with transfer function or loop transfer function or open loop transfer function whatever transfer function given in problem please consider magnitude and phase then you will get an idea to solve the remaining problem. So, here I am going to consider magnitude g h uh, for uh, simplification I am considering like g h and g h is equivalent to uh, always I am going to consider in j omega domain. So, means omega domain. So, L into j omega divided by j omega. So, this is my magnitude ok and phi and here phase phi is equivalent to angle of this transfer function is equivalent to. So, for example, if you are considering this, so if you substitute j omega, so this internal term will be there in g of s into h of s. When you are writing angle, so you can see, so in denominator j omega is there, so minus 90 degrees and in numerator e power minus l j omega is there. So, minus omega L whatever quotient is there in E power with J that you can consider in angle. So, phase is equivalent to minus 90 minus omega L. This is your phase, this is your magnitude. Now, you just think about the remaining given data. Phase crossover frequency. First, remember the definition. What is phase crossover frequency? Phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which the phase angle of the transfer function is equivalent to 180 degrees or when it interacts, intersects real axis. Real axis means 180 degrees axis. When Nyquist plot intersects real axis or this side or this side, generally we will consider minus 180 degrees. So, here generally you can make the definition of phase crossover frequency as this is the frequency at which phase equivalent to minus 180 degrees. You just keep in mind like that, that is very simple. Phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which phase equivalent to minus 180 degrees. So, here in my hand I am having phase. If you want to write this omega as omega p, so, I want to write that omega as omega p, then we need to write 180 degrees. When phase equivalent to 180 degrees, minus 180 degrees, then only we can say that frequency is phase crossover frequency. Now, here minus omega p l is equivalent to, you just sign that 90 degrees to this side. Then what will happen? So, you will get minus 90 degrees. 
minus 180 plus 90 minus 90 degrees. So, here we know this value of omega p you just cancel minus and minus you know omega p omega p is given for you. So, phi l is equivalent to this 90 degrees I want to write it as pi by 2. Now, l is equivalent to pi by 10. So, you can see how simple this is just definitions theory related to frequency response analysis is must remaining is very very easy you can relate any definition to any other definition if you know all the definitions or all the formulas. So, you can see what I done generally I taken magnitude and phase up to here I do not know what I am going to use. By seeing the remaining given data, I came to know that here I have worked with phase. So, now phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which phase equivalent to minus 180 degrees. So, if you want to substitute WP here, the phase must be minus 180 degrees. Yes, I am having WP in my hand, then I can substitute phi is equivalent to minus 180. I can equate my phase to minus 180. So, by that I got that time whatever L they given in problem they given L is dead time. So, we already found that dead time L is equal to pi by 10. Coming to options in option B they given right option for this problem the right option is option 